Hey team, Major Foe here, July 1942, Operation Last Chance for the Commonwealth in France. Start with our three tech rolls. Uh, Britain's going to go for a long range aircraft, seven or below, friction or above. Below would be nice, there's a one, so that's a no. Wartime economy, seven or above, that's a ten. We've got wartime economy and improved construction seven or above eleven that goes to stage two. Okay, purchases. UK has thirty-two dollars. I'm gonna buy two marines, one airborne, a militia upgrade, two colonial, four militia, one infantry. Uh, FEC is going to spend their four dollars and get a Gurkha, and Anzac's going to save their five bucks. Okay, combats. We have the fighter going after the sub in season 116 from South Africa. We have the fleet minus two heavy cruisers moving. To pick up two infantry and landing in uh, southern Greece. Uh, the two battleships will shore bombard and the fighter. We'll join that fight. If I don't succeed at the shore bombardments, then if the militia hits, it'll be double casualties on the infantry. Uh, from the first fleet in Sea Zone 25, we're going to land in Netherlands. I've already talked to Davik about scrambling his aircraft. He will not. So, three Marines, three infantry, and an airborne will land in the Netherlands. And the strap bomber, transport, medium bomber, and four fighters, tactical bomber, and five fighters in total, I guess. Uh, we'll join that fight. In Siam, there's one militia, so out of the 96th, an artillery and an infantry. Uh, we'll go into Siam. And these are Anzac troops, so if that's successful, better take two, two infantry. If that's successful, then that, uh, that'll flip to Anzac. That's all the combat I think they can acquire here. Okay, we'll start with the submarine. We need a six or less. That's a four, so that sub is off the board. Okay, first off we have two battleships uh, at a four. Uh, nine out of twelve, so those miss. Uh, we have two infantry going into mountains at a one. That was shocking. And the fighter. At a six, that's a miss as well. And then the militia at a two, and that's a five, so that is gone. So, so in Greece, that's two British infantry. 
So, out of the first, we have a battleship at four, one, two, three, two coastal defense ships, and a battle cruiser uh, with a shore bomb armor of three, and two heavy cruisers, shore bomb armor of two. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, this is at, the orange dice is at four. Three dice are at three. And the two red dice are at two. And we're just looking for one hit here, and there's the hit. One of those dice is at two. So the infantry is dead, does not fire back. Germany goes down. Two, and Britain goes up two. So Germany goes down 2 to 47, and the UK goes up 2 to 29. Last combat is in Siam. We have one infantry at 2, and infantry at 3, and a first strike at 3. So I'll roll the first strike first. It's a 9, that's a miss. So infantry at 2 is in orange. And infantry at three is in red, boosted by the artillery. So that's militia is dead. Militia shoots back at a two. It's a five, so that's a miss. So Japan goes down two dollars and Anzac. Correction one dollar. Anzac will go up a dollar. So there's an artillery and two infantry in Siam. On to non combat movement. One infantry will move to South Wales, one infantry will rail to Southern Australia. Two heavy cruisers from C Zone 51 will move one, two, three into C Zone 83. The four destroyers and heavy cruiser in C Zone 80 will move one, two, three. Uh, into C Zone 81, joining the other two heavy cruisers. Okay, that transport is still here. Okay, the fighter goes back on the light carrier. One infantry rails to eastern Egypt. The strategic bomber goes back to London. Transport plane goes back to London. Medium Bomber goes back to London. Tactical goes back on the carrier. The uh, fighter goes back on the carrier. The four fighters go back to British Midlands. The 
motorized. We'll move down to London. I think that's all of the Okay, UK will, oh wait, fighter goes back to South Africa. And, you can't make that. Gurkha will go to Kashmir. of the units. Infantry will be upgraded. The militia will be upgraded in British Midlands. A colonial be placed in Eastern Egypt. A militia will be placed in Eastern Egypt. Militia will be placed in Transjordan. In Tanganyika. In the Sudan. A colonial we place in Nubia. The airborne, two marines, and the infantry will be all placed in London. Okay. Not sure why that keeps doing that. Uh, UK is at 29. Anzac's at six, and FEC is at two. Eight in Eastern Egypt are still allied occupied, so that means FEC gets four dollars. There are enemy war warships within two zones, so they don't get their bonus for Anzac, so they'll collect six. And Britain still has subs on British convoy lines. Dutch colonies are gone. Iran is no longer neutral, but does possess the Suez Canal, so that's plus three. So the UK will get $32. Anzac will get $4. Correction, uh, FEC will get $4. Anzac will get $6.00. And they save five, so that puts them at eleven dollars. Uh, wartime economy. Now that the UK has wartime economy, roll dice. Very good. They get six bucks. I'll put that right into the UK's thing. They're at thirty-eight dollars now. On to France. France has seven dollars. They'll buy a marine and an infantry. They have no combat movements, but non-combat, the fighter will fly one, two, three, four, and land in southern Greece. Uh, two transports and the battleship will join the fleet. And C zone 52. And they will take four mountain and one artillery. Place all of those in southern Greece. Okay, that will conclude the French turn. They will place their infantry and marine in northern Algeria. They will collect $7, which they have. And that will conclude the Commonwealth and Free French turn. 
Thanks again for watching. Looking forward to Davik for Italy next.